Well, first of all, Tommy's character has been kind of a lot more interesting in the second half of the season than the first, because the first he was kind of just kind of the friend hanging out. Yeah. Now it feels like your character has more of a purpose and is involved in the storyline. How have you taken that as far as how you play the character, your excitement about the character? I mean, it's it, it's it's definitely been. You know, the stuff that they've given me to play in the last, you know, since episode 12 on forward has been really, really fun. I've always loved what the character was, but you're right, like, I mean, now that it's not such a passive role, it's, it's a lot, you know, it's a lot more fun to play when you have all that stuff to be able to do. Uh, and I think the relationships have gotten really, really interesting lately. They've, um, you know, there's stuff happening with... Uh, the tension between Oliver and Tommy, and the tension that creates ultimately between Laurel and Tommy. It's uh, it's really cool. It's been fun. Um, <laughs> like when I first saw it, I was like, I noticed your name was Merlin. Last name was Merlin. Mm -hmm. Are you Merlin? Uh, well, <laughs> I mean. Yeah, can you reveal anything about that? I can say that uh, in the next few episodes, uh, Tommy comes into the Merlin fold more. Uh, you know, there's going to be, because of what's happened and because of the way that he's reacted to finding out about Oliver, uh, it sort of comes to a head and he uh, becomes much closer with his father. That was my next question about the Dark Archer, because he was about to show you, like, right before he gets knocked down or something, I was mm -hmm. like, show him the closet! <laughs> <laughs> I will say that if um, he was willing to show him once, there's no reason to think he might not show him again. But that puts you right in the middle, though. That's kind of an interesting place to be. Okay, and that's what, there's no question in there. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how about this? How's it like working with John Barrowman? He's awesome. He's great. We have, uh, you know, I mean, we come from the same kind of background, uh, theater, musical theater, being on stage, liking to have a good time, and you know, it's when when it's time to work, it's time to work. But otherwise, like, it's just fun. <laughs> we like to joke around and have a good time and entertain people, and it's part of the fun about being on set is like just goofing off. Great dynamics behind the scenes. Yeah, yeah, we really have a, a really nice time. Um, you know, some of it people see, and some of it people like. It's just for us, really. What's <laughs> I've lost my voice. Oh, that's What's right. Sort of cool for us? Oh, like uh, so, uh, the huge sequence in uh, in episode 16, where we're like, you know, whenever when all the shit goes down at the uh, at the ceremony. Oh, I can't say shit. No, I'm just oh, sorry. Shit. <laughs> 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 so, uh, we, um, like, we, Glenn was running us through the, uh, uh, what was going to happen with the action sequence and us running up the stairs, and the escalators were still on at the time, so we go up the stairs, and he's, we're just, just going to kind of hang out, and of course, instead of coming down the stairs like normal people, we're, like, dancing and singing our way down the stairs <laughs> while he's actually trying to do work, so, <laughs> it's just fun, you get a big group of people, and you put two goofballs in the center of it, we're bound to, hmm. Make an ass of ourselves somehow. <laughs> uh, you were talking a little bit about the conflict between Oliver and Laurel, and now it's kind of become more of a triangle than I think uh, Tommy even realized before because now he knows that Laurel's whole fascination with the vigilante is really her fascination with Oliver, and she doesn't know it. So yeah. that's like a different layer. It is. Uh, it's, um, you know, before the relationship was awkward because I was dating my best friend's ex-girlfriend and dirtbag. <laughs> 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 I didn't write it! <laughs> uh, but now, you know, since that big reveal, the relationship becomes automatically something entirely different, right? It's 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 no longer just about the awkwardness of three friends date, like you know, swapping dating partners. But it's it, it's now like uh, you're you hit it right on the head, right? It's like she is fascinated with this person who I now know to be somebody who is still in love with her. Right. It's like. <laughs> you can't win. You can't catch a break. <laughs> Come on. Uh, 
and it does. You're going to see like much more of that in the next few episodes. Uh, that stuff really coming to uh, a big head um, because it can't exist the way it does right now. And it looks like Oliver is now kind of asking her out to coffee or something. And I'm like, oh. asshole. <laughs> She's mine now. <laughs> Seriously. You said you were okay with it, and now you want to have dinner? Right. Great. <laughs> is there a particular upcoming episode? Episode 20. Episode. episode 20 I'm really, really excited for. It. Um, it's, uh, it's just some really, really great stuff. Uh, I mean, even this week's episode is wonderful. I, it, it seems like every time... I see a script and I'm like, oh, this is going to be going to be our best episode. And they just keep getting better and better. And I, I know uh, episode 19, you know, you start to see that whole uh, connection between uh, Tommy and his father. Uh, and 20 just has some really, I can't give anything away about it. I wish that I could, but uh, you know that. The, the triangle that we were talking about is uh, all of that stuff is gonna really explode explode uh, in episode 20. I'll nice. spoil that, even though I didn't spoil anything. <laughs> so, going into season two, since you guys already know you got a pickup, mm -hmm. if you could be in the writer's room and say, this is what I want to happen to my character, what would that be? Uh, I don't even know. I mean, you know, one of the, one of the coolest things has been I'm sure that I had one idea of what I would, where I would be at episode, you know, shooting episode 22 and what the character would be. But every script that I end up getting is a complete surprise to me. Uh, and so I don't, I don't think that I could make a like projection as to what is to come. I know they have some really exciting stuff planned for season two. Uh, that at least, you know, they're still pitching to the studio and the network that, to go. Uh, I just don't know. That's a total cop-out answer. I'm sorry. I wish that I could... <laughs> I'm, I'm, yeah. I kind, of, I kind of came in late on Yeah, this. no worries, man. Late. Sorry. How familiar, um, do they give you um, information on whether they're going to introduce more of the characters from the actual comic book? Because I noticed there's a couple of them that have creeped in. Do you, do you have any kind of bead on whether they might introduce some more? Or? You know, I think because DC is so involved with the show, like, they, those guys have a total, like, they've got the whole canon at their disposal. And you can tell, like, throughout the whole thing, they've been really taking advantage of that and uh, Jeff Johns has been super supportive of us and I mean writing episode 16 and uh, they you know the, the whole universe is really cool but you know it's it's our own universe right so it's not uh, a super fantastical one uh, I think they've been really creative with you know uh, bringing what could have been uh, less grounded uh, comic book characters into our very much realistic world so the follow up on that then that you almost imply then maybe possibly because there's a whole Justice League rumor of the movie being made and the Green, the green Arrow obviously is part of that yeah. the Justice League is there a possibility that you guys might somehow get in the movie or is that oh I, don't, I have, I have, I have no <laughs> idea about that that's I think you know separate entity okay. from us yeah <laughs> any other projects you're working on uh, yeah I'm, uh, I'm going to be doing a movie with Elizabeth Banks coming up uh, here pretty soon uh uh, and uh, I'm doing some Shakespeare in the Park in New York this summer. I'm gonna get back on stage a bit, so I'm very excited. Yeah, uh, 